Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, my friends, my friends, you know my first guest from Atonement, the X-Men movies, and Atomic Blonde. His new film is Glass. So what's your superpower? Your, your mind? What's mine? You're nine forever, right? Yeah. Well, that's incredible. You can see the world the way it really is. Always. A kid who can never grow old. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Please welcome back to The Late Show, James McAvoy. I feel like I had to sit down to make you guys sit down. You're very lovely. Oh, they're very nice, aren't they? They are. They're fed well. Um, uh, are you ready? Are you ready? Always, ever ready. Like a battery. Like a, that branded battery that I won't name, because I don't want to give them free advertising. Do they advertise with us? Uh, Duracell. They don't have a... They, oh! I said it. You did. I'm getting the did. check, not you, buddy. Right, you just threw it away. Right. Ka ching chocolate. They'll up. pay me for saying that, right? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Okay, so we just saw the clip from Glass. Yeah. Okay, which is a sequel to Split. Uh, yes, and uh, Unbreakable. And Unbreakable, okay. Yeah. Um, of course, I don't want to... Can I give anything away about the end of Split? Uh, can I yeah, say anything? Because yeah, yeah, think... you see Bruce Willis at yeah, the end of that. Yeah, a lot of people have seen that. And a lot okay. Of people, yeah, so okay. at All the right. end of this movie, Split, which you think is just a kind of thriller about a guy with D.I.D., uh, DID? Uh, dissociative Identity Disorder. Okay. Which formerly known as Split Personality Disorder or Multiple Personality Disorder or even more formerly known as people who were schizophrenic. Uh, actually, DID is its official term. Um, you reveal at the very end that we're in the realm of Unbreakable, which involves Samuel L. Jackson as Mr. Glass and Bruce Willis as David Dunn, the overseer. Thank you. How many characters, how many sort of personalities are you portraying in, uh, between that movie and this movie? So, in uh, Split, I played nine of 24. We portrayed nine of 24. And then in this movie, we actually shot 23, but at the end of the editing process, he cut <laughs> three of them. So, we've got 20... I know, right? I'm like, leave no personality behind. <laughs> Um, Wait, so you worked on three characters, I you might say. I worked on 23. No, no, but you worked on three that just made it on edit room floor. That's the one, yeah. So we, put, we have 20 in the final movie. Can you I'm give us devastated. a hint of what we're not going to see? Can you give us a hint of those three? No, because I'm thinking there might be a spin-off for those three guys. So I'm like, I'm keeping that real quiet. Real quiet. Yeah, do you know there what I mean? There you go. All yeah. cha-ching. Always yeah, be thinking, it's coming back. thinking about the bottom line. Thank I understand you. one of the characters is based on uh, uh, your Atonement co-star... Uh, Saoirse Ronan uh, uh, yeah. at that age. I, I wouldn't say the character's based on her. Influenced? But her voice is it was based on my memory of Saoirse's when she was 11. Um, not how she sounds now, and probably not how she sounded then, but my memory of her voice then, which was high and full of... Um, she was sharp and she was just full of life and uh, she still is actually to be fair but she's kind of <laughs> but no she is you know what I mean she's like, all she's burned a, out now she's a great oh. she's, like, uh, she's a husk like, yeah you know she's like Does what she could have been she's like what could have been I could have been a contender uh, no she's like she's still <laughs> I got your lady bird right here <laughs> <laughs> now the, the, the character you're playing there the nine year old boy uh, okay Mr. Glass says uh, you see the world as it really is at nine, do you think the children really see the world as it really is? Um, no. No, you don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I think they see. I don't know. I'm not all children, but I think they see the world from their own point of view. They're true to themselves, which I think is pretty cool. But I don't think they know they what they want. It. Yeah, they know what they want, which is what they want, and they know how to get it, which is cry a lot. And they like, <laughs> you know, not all the time. <laughs> not if you bring them up right. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, we don't talk about it anymore, but you know what I mean? Um, 
Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, no, I don't. <laughs> you, you spend a fair amount of this movie shirtless. I do. Yeah, yes. and, and just just because we gotta, we got to get the ratings up here, I'm going to show... <laughs> Just said, there you are, there you are, all jacked up. Your, your producer said to me when she was running that past me, she said, you mind me showing you this? I mean, it's the CGI version. I'm like, that's the real version. Wait, wait, shoot this. Shoot that, this. Was shot, that was shot by my friend Jessica Kunis, and that is real. That's before wait, the CGI. Wait, none of that is CGI? That's like, see this, this stuff up here? See this big the... hickey wait, that wait. I've got there? Yeah. That's like, that's like makeup. But the rest, that was... Well, what about the, what about the traps here? Go back. That's real. What That's about real. those things? That, no, they're not. Yes, they that are. is not. Can I feel? They're not there anymore. They're not there anymore because they turned the computer off is why. No! <laughs> oh, dear God. Come on. Come on, man. I swear There's to no God. shame. You're a handsome man. You don't have Dude, to pretend listen, like you. Listen, listen. I did not work for five solid months and eat that amount of food. It's, you sit here and you tell me that they turned the computer off. That was real. Oh, my apologies. But that was shot in the winter time, wasn't it? I was shot in the cold, dark winter of Pennsylvania. Yeah. Wow. With your shirt, was was he punishing but you? Why would he do that? I felt to you? like maybe he was punishing me for I don't know, not doing those three other characters well enough, and he knew he had to cut them. <laughs> but when he wrote the thing, he was writing the thing, and I said to him, "Look, you, am I going to be playing the beast a lot more in this one?" He was like, "Yes." Am I going to be in the dark? He was like, "No." Am I going to be like there, just there two minutes at the end? No. Am I going to be outside in daylight? He was like, "Yes." Am I going to have my shirt off? Yes. I was like, "All right." I'm going to need to get buffed up for it. But it was freezing. It was absolutely freezing. I uh, didn't get frostbite on my nipples, but I wasn't far away from it. <laughs> honestly, honestly, it know, wasn't far away. That's headline. Yeah. James McAvoy didn't get frostbite in his nipples. James McAvoy still has his nipples. Yes. Yeah. Because they're frostbite, they snap off like graham crackers. <laughs> You've got experience in this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now, let's bring it back down for the kids. You also... You also played the part of Hazel in Watership Down for the BBC That's Hazel. recently. That one's Hazel. Hazel right there. Yeah. Is that what was it like getting in character for a, a rabbit? Had you played an animal before? Um, I just played the beast. Um, but the rabbit uh, was a wee bit different. We tried to do... I got quite excited. I'm a big fan of the book as a kid, and I was a big fan of the original movie. And Which is a little, sp it's a little scary. Some people are very scarred by that. They think it's going to be like this sort of yeah. happy thing, but it's actually quite dark. Yeah, you think it's about bunnies, so it's going to be fun, but it's basically sort of a post-apocalyptic Brave New World with a bit of Walking Dead thrown in there, and, and it's really quite terrifying. Um, and haunts people's dreams as adults. Uh, yes. Ghost rabbits and evil despotic rabbits, suicidal rabbits, a whole suicidal mm. commune of rabbits. It's a real fun ride. <laughs> and um, the BBC thought it'd be great to put it on, on Christmas Eve. Uh, so it was great. It was really good. Netflix backed them up, and it was, it was a real good decision. I think it was, actually. It just went down well. But um, I did this whole thing where I was like, all right, I'm playing a rabbit. Maybe we should get into this. How would a rabbit talk if it could speak English? And, um, you know, the, they can almost have a heart attack from being scared. Oh, rabbits can? Because their hearts go so fast. I yeah. thought, if somebody's heart was going that fast, maybe I can maybe that would affect the way I talk or whatever like that. And after about 20 minutes of doing this, the director and the producers all went like, James, could you just, could you just do it like with your voice and just act it normally like a person? <laughs> and, um, and we'll just animate it like you're a rabbit. I was like, yep, got yep, no problem. <laughs> Yeah. Well, um, lovely to see you again. Lovely. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Love it. Glass is in theaters this Friday. James McAvoy, everybody. We'll be right back with Sadiqua Martin.